So 2022 marks 75 years of Palladium. This is such a significant landmark for us as a brand. And we really wanted to commemorate it by remastering three very special archive capsule projects that represent some iconic and important moments in our history. These are moments that we really think many of our customers and our community of today may not actually be aware of. So we wanted to give some special product and really deep stories back to them as part of our celebration. So our first archive introduction, Du Luvel, is actually taken from Palladium's rich sports history that was dominant in France from the 60s. This is such a cool part of our legacy that we really believe people would love to hear more of. And the Luvel was a shoe that was originally created for the basketball court, but we wanted to bring it back in lifestyle form as a reminder that Palladium was this number one sports brand in France. Secondly, we have this beautiful reiteration of the Eco Pampa. Again, what people might not be aware of is that Palladium was one of the first brands recognized for eco-consciousness and sustainable product. So of course, sustainability features heavily in many of our products today, but it all stems back from the 90s when we were recognized for being early adopters and early leaders in eco-consciousness. And finally, Last year, we remastered the first ever Palladium shoe, the Palabruce Legion, which first made production back in 1947. It began as a military boot before moving through the active outdoor world as a utility boot for hiking and exploring, before finally building up this cult following during the 80s. For our anniversary, we issue an extremely limited run of the remastered product that has special premium design features in recognition of 75 years of Palladium. The Louvel was introduced in 1951 and it was introduced as a top performing basketball shoe. Talking about the Louvel is, is like diving into a secret legacy that Palladium has completely hidden or ignored over the last 20, 20 years, which is sport. In fact, a few years after the foundation of the brand in 1947, Palladium quickly became the French sport brand. We were uh, partnered with Patrice Dominguez, so another French tennis player. We were into uh, football or soccer with Platini at the time. We had a special edit. Uh, we had a specific Alain Gilles uh, basketball shoe. For three decades, from the 50s to the 80s, the Louvel was the sports shoe in the French market. And clearly, the great years and the best years of the, of the Louvel were on, on the basketball pitch, together with the Asvel, so the Lyon pro basketball team uh, won uh, more than nine or 12 titles, all the team was wearing the Louvel. For Asvel and for the French basketball um, lovers, Alain Gilles was the best French player in basketball. So Alain Gilles made lots of uh, ads and photos with the Louvel, wearing the Louvel on the pitch and, uh, and, 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 and scoring during all these, uh, all these big trophies and moments. He's a legend here and we are really proud of that because Palladium always was with Alain Gilles in the, at the time. So the new Louvel is made by the vulcanized process and uh, we have a cotton canvas upper. We wanted to keep uh, the same process and the same materials that we have on the archive version. Uh, so we have the same features, uh, so you can see we have, the, we have the supportive bar on the quarter. We keep uh, the eyelets for breathability. So you have the toe bumper that is uh, uh, adding uh, some protection and it's also adding some texture. Uh, you have the toe cap that is already a palladium signature. The archive louvel came with this blue and red diamond logo. Uh, that was used uh, on all the sports collection of Palladium before. So we wanted to keep it so you can find it on the tongue, uh, on the tongue label. You would see it, of course, on the patch uh, 
on the side. And uh, you have also like an additional piece where, with this logo of the, of the diamond on the vaccine. We wanted also to have uh, like a link with the Palabrus uh, original footprint. Uh, so you will find it also on the, on the sole of the new version of the Palabrus. The Ecoversary boot, so this one is an updated version of the archive uh, ecological uh, boot that was created by Palladium in the 1990s. So at that time, uh, this uh, boot was already quite uh, innovative because both the upper, the outsole and also the hearse pictogram printing was, uh, were uh, made with uh, eco-friendly uh, materials. In the 1990s, this shoe was part of a full fair trade collection created by Palladium and it started to mark the engagement of Palladium toward Earth's protection. So for its uh, environmental engagement, uh, Palladium won a special prize in 1994, uh, the prize uh, Trophée Entreprise Environnement. So this uh, award was organized by um, a consulting uh, company called uh, Coopers and Librand, now uh, well known for uh, as a PricewaterhouseCoopers, so it's a big uh, consulting company. And at that time they were um, starting to think about uh, social and environmental responsibility for companies. And they organized this big uh, contest that Palladium uh, won. And that was uh, at that time quite uh, innovative to organize first uh, contest for a social and environmental purpose and also to win uh, this uh, contest. So uh, this mark uh, really uh, the big engagement uh, Palladium had towards ecology. So when we started to work on the Pampa Ecoversary, uh, of course uh, the, the product had to be, to be sustainable, but we had to challenge ourselves and try to bring a few more innovations to really make this, make this product uh, special for this special anniversary uh, edition. So, uh, of course, most of the components, like 100% of the components, are, are, are using organic or recycled uh, base. Uh, we use uh, recycled uh, polyester for the laces, for the, for the heel loop, for the lining, sock liner. Every time we can, we also select uh, certified fabrics, so GOTS or GRS. But we went a little bit further, uh, and one of the main innovation is, uh, has been applied on the, on the canvas. Uh, so here we have, of course, an organic canvas. But uh, what is interesting is that we have used uh, a special natural pigment to, to dye the canvas. So this uh, desert uh, color that you see here um, is, is coming from uh, food waste uh, and it's actually uh, almond shell that are normally, normally going to, to the bin that have been used to, uh, to, to create this pigment and, and to, to give this desert color on the canvas. We have reworked uh, on the earth print uh, pattern that we had uh, already on the, on the archive uh, product. So this earth uh, artwork and pictograms was really the symbol of the ecological collection of Palladium in the 90s. So it was even used on tongue label, logos, uh, packaging. So it was really a brand signature. Um, so here we reproduce in the most identical way uh, the print execution uh, using a water-based uh, ink, uh, of course. Uh, and then, uh, as, a, as a last innovation, you can see also on the parts that are made in rubber. So you see it on the sole, on the counter, and on the, on the rubber patch. We use some old uh, wood pallets that uh, were made into a mixture and mixed together with, uh, with the rubber. So it's a way to upcycle as well uh, wood uh, from, from the industry. So, uh, the Palabrus uh, is the first shoe of Palladium, born in 1947. Uh, it was made for the French Foreign Legion, and uh, we decided to do uh, a special edition for the 75th anniversary, of course, because it's our first shoe, and uh, it has been a very important shoe for Palladium. So it was uh, a given to, 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 to pick it for our 75th anniversary. He has said the Palladium DNA and most of the project we have done after this has been inspired from that shoe. We made a premium edition with uh, some features that uh, Maud will uh, describe later on. 
We have a nice 75th logo, it will be a limited edition. We made uh, 1,947 pairs, which reflect our uh, birthday. So the Palabros Hautzol uh, proportion and last is following exactly the Made in France Palabros, the original one. Uh, for the upper, what makes it iconic for us is the uh, heavy green canvas the, that is very durable, the side stripe for support. We have the medial rubber, the rubber patch on medial uh, that is acting more as a, a protective element. For the anniversary, we push uh, the sustainability a step further, so all the canvas uh, on the shoe lining and upper is uh, organic certified. We also have actually the tape at the back that is uh, in PET and uh, the leather actually is uh, from our uh, tannery that is eco-conscious, so it's all gold-related uh, leather. We have special features on the shoes that make it actually more exclusive and more uh, premium uh, for this special edition. I would say we have actually the embroidery that is really the signature that is really exclusive for the anniversary with uh, small tricolor details that you have actually on the side and you have also on the, on the tape at the back to play with our French heritage. It's stamped actually behind, so you, re you really have the number of the shoe you buy, so it's really exclusive, very unique. Uh, and uh, Make it kind of collector? Yeah, completely, uh, and it's what makes it very special. We have a special packaging for the anniversary, a special box and also a dust bag, so really to give this premium, uh, premium feel.